Hello, you're watching David Madison, The Guardian. Um, tonight, this is a follow-up video to my video on worms, yeah, basically on geokinesis. So, when you start out as a telekinetic, right, you're, everybody wants to say, well, I moved this myself. I didn't have any help with anything. You know, it wasn't wind, it wasn't this, it wasn't that. And as you, I think, as you become a better telekinetic, what you realize is that actually it's not all you. Um, you're partnering with different forces. And it's okay. It's, it, you become a much stronger telekinetic when you're like, there are already forces in motion happening independent of what I think about it, what, what I want. And what I'm doing as a telekinetic is I'm learning to partner with those forces. You might call it God, you might call it the universe, you might call it nature. Okay, if you look right here, there's movement. That's a worm. So, the worm, you can think of the worm is affected by my energy and therefore the worm then starts to move as it moves through the ground. Um, anything that's above the ground, anything that it's moving around will start to move. So I want to show that. I'm trying to like push there. I'm trying to push energy into the ground and then cause cause things to to move. All right. There's no So you could say, my mind is moving it. And on one level, that's the truth. On the other level, uh, the truth is that I'm partnering with um, other forces, you know? Uh, so you can say, I'm partnering with gravity, I'm partnering with air pressure, I'm pr partnering with nature and part of nature of worms there, there was one right there um and over time look at that that just sprang up in the air that was so cool okay so i'm gonna pull back hey kitty cat Meow. um The more I think about this, the more I realize, like, what you accept into your reality, what you can consciously believe will begin to happen. You know, it's, it's it, I mean, it's the law of attraction. The law of attraction states that what you focus on begins to expand in your life. So... When I was, you know, working with, play, playing with, you know, air and stuff and plants, that's what expanded in my life. So that's what I saw, right? That's what I saw most of. But you have to, uh, you know, a telekinetic <clears throat> becomes ultra observant, okay? That's really what it's about. You're, you're becoming super observant to sounds, uh, to what you see, to what you feel, what you hear, what you smell, what you taste. Um, and in time, you're able to, that's a good worm. In time, you're able to not only observe the thing, but because you're observing it over and over and over, 
um, you're able to influence it. So that that's a worm. He's not moving. He's kind of chilling, and now he's going to start moving. I'll push energy. I want to show right there is the worm. Okay, I'm going to draw back focus. And this is all about... Telekinesis is all about learning to focus your energy. Damn it, there, there was another one. It's almost like you, you don't... Um, You don't realize what you what you already have okay what you already have I want to show you the stick is moving up and down I think that, okay that stick is moving up and down and that's because a worm or at least one of the possible reasons is that a worm was moving through the ground and pushed up against it, and so it moved. And because it was sticking kind of up in the air, it was able to, to move very noticeably. And over time, the telekinetic can come up with multiple reasons why something could happen and they start to get to the point where they're on the lookout for that thing to happen and they know that it's very possible because they have all these reasons of why it might happen and so then what the telekinetic does is they either push energy or they kind of mess with quantum physics, which is the probability that something might happen. They start to, they start to just lean a little more towards that thing happening because it, uh, because they, uh, they choose for it to happen. 